UFC Heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach as well. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's in the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Pyongyang, North Korea, presenting the challenger, Asa. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. This fight, I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful body kick. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. 
Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Nice punch there by Short. Over and over, he's landing his big body kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Nice body kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice leg kick. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Ooh. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. Throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Right hand punch the clinch. And now he's got the tie clinch. And they separate. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Nice defense there. Huge block. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you pull a block a shot that's in something. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Let's go, take Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. And both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Really making good use of it. That's a good shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. The Korean Superboy gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Oh, straight right. Oh, he might be out. What a round. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and off 
Sometimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter-striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Nice loop of fun. Oh, spinning back this. Didn't see that one coming. down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo game, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come for me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found, found a set of punches. The jab is landing. Find something that's going to go behind it. What a body kick. Swing and a miss with that punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big leg kick lands. by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Just over three minutes to go. That punch, no good. Back and forth we go. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. Just coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm. Found man. He's in trouble. Oh, he's huge right hand. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here to prove the opponent. You've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. You've got to defend, but you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Just over two minutes now to go. Chase that finish down now. Oh, beautiful. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice punch. Nice punch. Oh, that was a nice punch. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his chin into his opponent. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. Holy smokes! He's done! He's done! What a fight! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, he saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 53 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still.
So heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ.